Here we go, man. Start of the match day vlog. How's it going to go? Europa League, Real Betis. Hopes are high, hopes are low, but it's at Ibrox and uh, haven't even the teams won't be out yet. No, twenty three minutes to seven, they won't be out yet. And I'm looking forward to this game. I'm really expecting something good. I'm expecting something really, really good for Rangers tonight. Don't know why. I've got a feeling deep down that something's going to happen. It's been a long day. Let's end it. On top, I was saying Gallus boys on top, but they suck, man. But um, I mean, I predict it with two each in the match preview yesterday. Uh, apologies for no fid being uploaded today, but it is what it is, and this should be a good game. Um, would I be surprised if we get back here and I'm talking about a 5 1 pumping off Real Betis? Probably not, but you know what? If Aberdeen can draw with Frankfurt 1 1, which they currently are doing then why can't we beat Real Betis at home? There's no excuse. I don't care what team Beal picks. For me, we should be going into this game. No fears. You know, I, I don't want to see negative negativity for Beal. I want to see an attacking team. And uh, maybe time we'll have to wait and see, guys. But anyway, like, comment, subscribe. And the action will be uh, thick and fast. Then we'll have a reaction um, once we get back for the game. So uh, looking forward to it. Let's go into the action. The Real McCoy. Happy 13th birthday to Lily McConnell, lots of love from your mum, dad, Jay and Heidi. Happy 10th birthday, Anna McConnell, lots of love from mum, dad and all the Rangers team. Happy 13th birthday to Scotland Master, have a great day, lots of love from Chloe and Gabby. Happy 7th birthday, Cooper Irving, lots of love from your mum, dad, Holly, Cadis and Stephen. And just like that, guys, the match day vlog is over. And this is your match reaction. Probably going to upload these as two separate videos. Match reaction and this at the end of the vlog. Which may seem cheap, but you know what? I've earned it after the day. I'm wrecked. I am absolutely done in. But you know what? Enough about me. Rangers won. We beat Real Betis. We beat a La Liga team. We've absolutely... I mean, I wouldn't go as far as saying destroyed, but you know what? It was a good performance. You can't really dispute that in the second half. I thought first half was pretty horrendous. It was shades of PSV. Now, again, I would say the last seven minutes, so five minutes are at your two. I thought we were pretty good. Well, I say pretty good. I mean, we've we, we shown a bit more, right? We've shown a bit more in that um, first uh, half, then towards the end of it. I thought the first 40 minutes... It just looked like what it's been all season. No game plan for Beal. Players running about. Seema's work rate was fucking... It was bogging, to say the least. And you know what? Being there, you, you hear the unrest. And a lot of people just want rid. I don't mean rid of Beal. I mean, well, a lot of people do want rid of Beal. But a lot of people are losing faith. And, and, and it's 40 minutes like that that just aren't good enough. Because let's not kid ourselves, right? Real Betis... 
are not that good a team for me. They, they, it looked like a team that is a few steps below Champions League tonight. Even though on paper they're a you know they're, they're a top La Liga side, like that didn't look like a team that could you know hurt us at any real point. It was just slack defending that gave them opportunities um, in terms of what they did. I mean they've got. Individuals like uh, Isco, Bellerin, Cavalio, Cuadrado, a lot of them, I mean, they were fucking all they did was really roll about, to be honest. But, you know, that's who they've got in the game. Um, but let's 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 go with the starting 11. I think pretty much Beal got it right. I mean, Seema scored, so I don't want to be too critical. But you know what? If he's going to play shite and he gets a goal, then we'll, have, we'll just have to learn to accept that. Um, at the end of the day, but for me, I think I don't even know, man. I was I'm fuck. I'm actually I'm actually I'm fucking I'm done in, man. The atmosphere was great, but does it save Bill? It gives him time, but again, it, we've, we've talked about the league. If he drops points in that, if he fucks up domestically, it, it's going to be all over. You look at that first half. I just thought a lot of people, man, weren't putting the yards in Lawrence. Um, he's been, he, he looks injured again, bro, who'd we bring on? Lammers. I mean, Lawrence is what, has even played, how many games has Lawrence even played for us? I, I don't even know. Um, that doesn't look good. He walked around, we clapped for him, he's on his way. Uh, other substitutes, thought Jack was good, I thought Sefentes was shite, I really thought he was shite. Um, I know, I mean, he, he clapped them anyway when they get subbed off, but he looks like a dud. Sefent is, and you know, I don't want to bury somebody so like far into the Rangers career, but if you look at it, for me, I look at Sefent is and all this hype that we've, you know, been pursuing this guy for like a year, just to be completely and utterly hoovered out the windy. Honestly, man, it's, the guy's not really impressed me. One bit now, a lot, a few of the games he has been played out of position, which I understand, but for me, not that good of a player. He has to prove himself for me. Um, how many times did Barisic go backwards tonight? Fucking hell, don't even think of it. I thought Ben Davies was by far the best defender. Jack Butland, you know, great saves again. You know, nothing outrageously good, but you know, that's the standard with Butland. A good goalie, guys, is a very, very good goalie. Um, we had a ch half chance with Seema in that first half. A lot, a lot. Of, it's just, I was so destroyed to see Barisic cutting back, man, passing it. And then Lundstrom was good at getting the crowd up in the second half. We go into the second half, um, and I was sitting in as uh, uh, Sandy Jardine. Front six, so it was good seeing that, you know, seeing Rangers properly attack that end and seeing the goal. I just I didn't think the goal was ever going to go in, man. It was a corner, then it was a header, then it was a shot, header, shot, header, and then I had no idea who got the goal. And then number 19, Abdullah Sima. Da, 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 da. Brilliant VAR. Breaking it. Went in the crowd. It went in, count it. Lovely jubbly. Can't complain with that, man. And um, aye, that was fantastic. Unreal. And we've seen it. There was, you know, lapses in the defence that could have resulted in a goal. But real bet, I thought they were toothless. Fuck, you know, considering how shite we were in the opening 40 minutes, any good team would have blown us away, I think. But Beal is lucky, guys. And that's where we're going to end this match reaction. Uh, great result. You know, Rangers carrying the coefficient as per usual. And, uh, hi, we'll be back very soon. Check out all the other channels. And until then, peace. It is the morning after the night before. I tell you what, right? S some people are saying that you can't please everyone, but we need to talk about this. It's not like we're playing good and we dipped for 40 minutes against Betis, which I could accept, right? But that first 40 minutes was what we've seen all season. No tactics, just shite, and players running about not knowing what they're doing next. Now, in the second half, We'll obviously tell them a game plan and they come out and sort it. Problem is, you can't wait until the second half to start playing or else you're going to get fucking scudded in most games that we, I mean, especially in Europe. 
So for me, yo, I'm buzzing, right? I was happier than a fucking pack of bees. They caught a pack of bees, a whole, a swarm, a swarm of bees, and a big tin of fucking Hartley's jam when that goal went in, right? But I think some people need to look at the real pit. It's as great as the result is, and you know, beating a La Liga team at Ibrox. I mean, that's a very memorable night, no doubt about it. Um, you know, I think it's been labelled as a turning point, but for Beal here. Yeah. It very well could be, right? I fucking hope it is. I hope Beal turns this around and we win the league and we go have a good run in Europe. And fuck, we win the both cups. We win a treble, right? But the reality is Beal is going to need to get a load of games right in a row for the get-go. None, none of this 45-minute pish. You know, he's going to need to get it right. But we'll have to wait and see. I mean, that's the last two games at Ibrox. Only one goal scored. I get it, Real Betis and Celtic, but, you know... We're Rangers, we should be fucking scoring regardless. And uh, yeah, guys, that is it done. It is the morning. Um, I'm wrecked, but it is what it is. And uh, that's the end of the match day vlog. Great we win. Great win. But until next time, leave your thoughts down below and uh, peace.